episode of The Pilot Brief, Odessa, Texas. KODO is a full-service airport with FBO services and self-service 100LL and Jet A. With three runways all over 5,000 feet in length, KODO offers plenty of flexibility for general aviation aircraft. On the evening of the pilot brief departure, we followed an AirMed jet out of the airspace. Located within the Midland International Class C airspace, Odessa has a fairly unrestricted approach and departure for all runways. As is common in Texas, there are many towers around the airport. However, all of the towers in the Odessa airspace are under 500 feet in height above ground level. Contrary to many of our arrivals, there are not significant challenges to the Odessa arrival. However, distance haze is often present. This haze can be found in many high plains or desert locations, regardless of the time of year. It is recommended that communications are established with Midland approach at 25 nautical miles out. Plan on switching frequency to Odessa CTAF at 5 to 6 miles from landing. Texas has a lot of space and in general most buildings are lower than three stories outside of the city centers. As seen on this Odessa approach, the high desert area is fairly clear around the runways allowing full focus on the stabilized approach. This is great for instrument training, by the way. There are no displaced thresholds on the Odessa runways, putting your landing point near the start of the runway. Having very flat land and few structures for reference, the runways at KODO can become black voids at night. Caution should be exercised on nighttime operations. Midland Odessa is a great place for a weekend or one night stay during your travels, with a vibrant nightlife, many scenic attractions, and even a giant bunny. On our next episode, we will tackle the controversial topic of general aviation ADSB, looking at some of the security concerns, several points of view from industry experts, and some of the myths and the facts associated with ADSB. See you next time.